<laughs> Pre-recorded from your eye doctor, it's Saturday night. And this is another Blind Reacts episode, and this one is particularly appropriate because the title of the video I'm about to react to is I'm going blind. Now I've never seen this video before. I had my team pre-prepare it and so they've given me a little bit of information to prepare for the video, but I've never seen it. So we're going to watch it together and then at the end I'll talk a little bit about what I think is going on. Welcome to Eye School with Dr. D, where my goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every week. My entire life, I've always had less than perfect vision. I've always needed corrective lenses, and even though they never gave me perfect 2020 vision, they still helped me immensely. And the great thing about it was that I never knew any better. Life was always just a tiny bit less clear for me than for others, but it didn't matter because that's how it had always been. But about a year ago, my eyes started changing drastically. Around this time, my YouTube channel was taking off, but it was getting harder and harder for me to play Fortnite. My skill was improving, but each day it felt like it was getting harder to track opposing players. After years of working to grow a YouTube audience, it was all going to just slip away, and I had no idea why. So I went looking for answers about my eyes, and I found them. So after a lot of doctor appointments and a lot of eye tests, I was diagnosed with a condition called retinitis pigmentosa. Oh. It's a very broad term and it's different for everyone. But for me personally, the first thing to go was my night vision. Yep. I can go outside on a perfectly clear night in Idaho and not see a single star in the sky. Yeah. I also have a lot of problems with my peripheral vision. Anything that's moving quickly or that's on the outskirts of my vision, I have a really hard time tracking. Currently, I do still have most of my daytime vision but I don't know how long I'm gonna have that for. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it my entire life or if eventually I'm gonna go completely blind. Yeah. Yeah, so um, so this guy um, has a really successful YouTube channel and he plays Fortnite and I my understanding is that his whole channel is kind of about that and then sort of out of the blue, I'm not sure when it was published, but he posts this video, I'm going blind, and um, and this is it. We just watched it together. And so what he just sort of revealed that he has is retinitis pigmentosa. Retinitis pigmentosa is um, an inherited condition. It does tend to run in families, and it usually happens, it starts its onset when you are in your younger years. And it's hard for me to know exactly how old he is, but... Um, he definitely like just sort of judging quickly, like he's definitely in that age range where we would expect to see the onset of retinitis pigmentosa. Super, super classic when he talks about how it um, happened for him. Night vision changes are absolutely like usually the first thing you're going to hear about. Um, and then peripheral vision. And that's because um, this disease is basically a, an RPE hyperplasia issue. So the retinal pigment epithelium is just one of the layers of the retina. And in this condition, it there's hyperplasia, meaning there's more pigment than there should be. And they'll have like on examination, if I'm looking at a retina of a person with retinitis pigmentosa, they have like bone spicule pigment out in the periphery of their eye. And that's often the sort of first symptom. It is progressive, so it's not like you're just born with a little bit of extra pigment and it stays there. That's totally different. In this condition, um, especially if you inherited um, the kind that progresses, you end up with more and more of this pigment, meaning the night vision gets worse and worse. 
the peripheral vision gets worse and worse. And folks with retinitis pigmentosa at its worst end up with just a tiny little section of clear vision kind of in the center of their vision. Um, this is definitely a pretty, it's a devastating diagnosis for sure. It, um, and it sounds like there's no way to know really what exactly he inherited. Um, but it sounds like he does have a progressive kind that is actively causing vision loss for him. Um, going forward, he can expect, you know, he'll probably obviously lose more of that peripheral vision. It is hard to predict exactly how much, um, but eventually, you know, he will have definitely reduced vision. Low vision is a division of optometry that I actually am not that great at. So I'm more of an ocular disease person, contact lenses, dry eye. Um, there are low vision optometrists and, um, you know, most states have departments of services for the blind that really coordinate and facilitate these resources for folks who have vision impairment. Um, one of my good friends, Dr. David Armstrong up in Virginia has an excellent YouTube channel all about vision loss and low vision and, um, you know, what he does for patients is absolutely amazing. So we'll make sure to link his channel. And if you're interested in low vision and vision loss, you can definitely check him out because he's got great information. So classically, the treatment for this is to avoid vitamin E that tends to worsen the condition and typically be on high levels of vitamin A. Um, they'll also do acetazolamide diamox in some cases if there's macular edema is my understanding. And um, in recent years, there are actually retinal implants that will help patients get back some of their functioning vision. Finally, it's extremely common with this condition to have posterior subcapsular cataracts in addition. And I'm making a video on cataracts that I'll make sure to link here when it's available so that you can check out because posterior subcapsular cataracts occur in a different portion of the lens than other you know, age-related types of cataracts. That's not to say you can't get a posterior subcapsular cataract um, on your own, but with age, but they're really common in retinitis pigmentosa for sure. And so check out that video for more on that. So ultimately, I really feel for this guy. Obviously, he has a big part of his life has been dependent on his vision with his YouTube channel and playing Fortnite. And um, yeah, I just really feel for him. It's always devastating to see a patient with one of these inherited diseases. And um, yeah, my heart goes out to him for sure. But there are definitely resources that can help him and can help you if you have vision loss as well. So check out my friend's channel. Um, make sure to ask your optometrist about um, the Division of Services for the Blind in your state because help is out there. Thank you for spending your Saturday evening with me. This has been another episode of Eye Doctor Reacts. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video and we will see you next time.